Look at the beautiful Salmon River. I'm here in the Salmon Huckleberry Wilderness area of Mount Hood, and look at this incredible national wild and scenic river. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Look at how clear that water is. You can see straight to the bottom. This area is spectacular. We are here on Salmon River West, here in the Mount Hood area of Salmon Huckleberry Wilderness. And look at this incredible trail. This is gorgeous. This is spectacular. We're here on a rainforest trail and look at this incredible river, the mighty Salmon River. This is a national wild and scenic river and I think you can see why. Look at this, this is spectacular. Got a rocky shoreline trail and a rainforest wonderland. And most importantly, last but not least, we have the National Wild and Scenic Salmon River. This area is beautiful. Today is May 11th, 2022. It is spring, no snow, no ice. It's perfectly accessible. Due to our low elevation, starting at 1,600 feet, going to 2,600 feet, this has actually been accessible for quite a while. I'm kind of late coming in May. This would probably be a very suitable March or April hike. Look at this. This is gorgeous. Stop and pin around here. Oh my gosh. This is pretty awesome. We're hiking through a proper rainforest. This is an old growth rainforest. Salmon Huckleberry Wilderness. One other observation I'll make is this trail is very rocky. Kind of got to watch your step. Don't want to slip and crack my head on the rock. That would be suboptimal. So very interesting, does the trail continue to go up there or does the trail go down there? I am not sure, this is my first time being here. But seeing as the lower path requires me to do a river crossing, I'm gonna stay in the high ground and see how that treats me. Part of the fun of wilderness adventuring, and we're literally actually in a wilderness today, is you don't necessarily know where to go. This seems to be working. Definitely need to be sure-footed because I'm just walking on rocks at this point. I'm going to pay attention. And this was the correct way. I'm glad I didn't attempt to cross that river for no reason. <laughs> Maybe that's a pro tip. Whenever you get to an intersection, stop and really think about it. and Think about the path of least resistance and always try that first. That's what I did in that case and was rewarded because I didn't have to cross the river which I could have done, but I don't want to do it. It looks kind of deep and maybe ankle or farther. And it is around freezing. So I want to get myself all wet to start my day. So I'd say this is a pretty interesting hike so far, hiking through old growth rainforest. I've done a lot of river hikes so far this year. My strategy is to do the river hikes in spring to save the summer slots for the mountain alpine hiking. I've done Metolius, I've done Deschutes, I've done Weiches Creek, I've done the Mackenzie River. Now I'm doing Salmon River. I guess this is my fifth river I'm hiking beside this spring so far. I think there may be five of the best flowing river slash creeks in Oregon. So I'm getting spoiled by a bountiful of beautiness so far this spring. 